Hey folks, welcome back. For this episode, we'll be testing one of PlayStation's most prominent feature, which is Remote Play. In short, with Remote Play, you can control your PS4 or PS5 console from a device at a different location. This feature saw multiple updates during the years, and as of 2019, it's also available for Android and iOS mobile devices. We'll test it with our Android tablet and mobile phone, but first we have to go through the simple setting up process. So on your PS5 you have to go to Settings, System, Remote Play and then turn on Enable Remote Play. To start Remote Play while your PS5 console is in rest mode, we have to select Settings, System, Power Saving, Features available in rest mode. Then turn on Stay Connected to the Internet and enable turning on PS5 from Network. And that's pretty much all we have to do on our PS5 console. The next step is to set up the remote play on your Android device. First we have to download the app from the Play Store and log in using your PlayStation Network account. Then the app searches for your PS5 console that you've signed in using your account and it should automatically connect to the console. After it connects, the screen of your PS5 console displays on your mobile device and you can start using Remote Play. You can connect your DualSense controller via Bluetooth by pressing and holding the Home and Screen Capture button and we should see the controller listed in available devices. And here we are in the PS5 home screen. First, we'll see how GTA 5 works in this remote play scenario, and then we'll switch over to my phone using the on screen controls. So here we are with my Redmi Note 10 Pro, and for some reason there's less lag and delay. Also the on-screen controls feel a bit weird, but after a couple of minutes you get easily used to.
So for these kinds of games, the remote play is definitely a good option, and games are more than playable. However, if you're into more competitive FPS games, this might not be the perfect option as there's a slight delay. But as I said, for story-driven and adventure games is definitely a very useful feature. And guys, hope you liked the video. Feel free to share your suggestions in the comment section and see you all in the next video.